I bet my money on that. Oh, got a bite too. Fishing is therapy. It's time to go get that therapy, boy. Good morning, y'all. Fishing is therapy. All right, I'm about to head out to Bodega Bay today. Check it out out there, man. Uh, actually, I haven't been. Maybe when I was younger. And so I've uh, done the research. Me and my boys going to head out there, try to get on some eel, some rockfish, some link, some perch, whatever bites. You know how I do it every time, man. Some juice. We got about an hour, 30 minutes trip out there. Low tide is around... I think it's around 1130, 1140 ish. So, man, we'll have plenty of time. Poke around in the rocks. Go out there, throw some swim baits, high, low rig, shrimp. Same thing as usual, just like I do over at Muir Beach, man. So, I want you guys to stay tuned. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be cloudy. But, uh, you know, the weather hasn't been too good lately. But uh, we did pretty good last time at Muir Beach. Let's see how good we do. Over at Bodega Bay. Seems to have bigger fish. Been hearing a lot about it lately. So, man, wish me luck. Heading out to get that therapy, boy. See ya. All right, checking some holes. Current moving a little too fast here, but maybe it's some rockfish down in there. Just sitting on the ground right there. Oh, that's a nice hole back there. Look at that down in there. That'd be an eel come out of there. Perfect ambush spot. Oh, damn, man, it's deep. Ooh. Let's see. Man, it's deep area down there. Look at that hole. Better be something hiding in there. I bet my money on that. Oh, got a bite too. See? Look at that. Come on, fish. It's an eel in there. Gotta be. Okay, for the bite. Is in there biting a rockfish or an eel? So you take my bait almost. Uh, see, when you see your stuff all kind of like. Oh, he didn't pull it a lot, so that's not a crab, which is good. When it uh, looks all shredded up and stringy looking, that's usually a crab. But uh doesn't quite look that way, but could still be a crab. We'll find out. We'll see how this big piece gets bit up. If it gets pulled to strings, it's a crab. If it's just chunks missing, it's a fish. Eel or a, let's see if I can piss him off enough. Let's go. Oh, that is a, a, a something. Something just grabbed it. Oh, that was a rockfish, you guys. I saw him. That was a rockfish. It's brown. It's a gopher rockfish. He's in there super aggressive too. Wow. Must be a, a nest of his babies or something. Oh, goodness. Oh.
Okay. Ah. Damn it. Some good bites though. That rock fish in there is aggressive. All right. Let's try it again. He's in there aggressive. Let's see if I can get him, y'all. Biting, but I'm, I can see the brown underneath his, his body, his tummy. Grabbed him in, but let's see. He's waiting. Bite again. Uh, let's see my shrimp. Come on, rockfish. You can't resist. Down in here. Oh, I see. I think that may be a crab, though. Oh, crab! I knew it. I'm pulling me into the rocks, huh? Damn crap. Look. He down there waiting. It looks like a crab from here. Yeah. Come on. Crabby. Crab, that's how it's done. Crab and a rockfish in one hole right now. It's amazing. All right, let's have a little bit smaller piece this time. Uh.
so at this point guys i'm poking around in the rocks being, being very patient i've already caught three or four eel already in the rockfish it just was so windy man and it was just really hard to record you know i know you the wind volume i haven't been able to pick up my mic yet to reduce the wind noise but i was just kind of sheltered in the rocks poking around trying to avoid the wind but then it got a little bit better so i came out and start recording and that's around the time you know i, I caught uh the bigger eel of the day and everything so stay tuned you'll be able to see all of that footage guys i just want to let you know that uh, i do have more eels in the bag as well Switch locations. <laughs> Let's see what's on the edge of this. Look at this pearl. Got a big one on here. He's trying to fight. <laughs> oh goodness look at this boy stayed in there wow nice y'all look at that big boy wow big eel I got five eels total now, y'all. It just I've been it's been so windy, man. I've been covered up, chilling. Yeah, I got him good too. He was pulling. Find my rock that I'd be hitting him in the head with. There go. This guy gonna be hard to kill. I just caught the other hill, getting a bite. Hopefully you guys can hear me, it's super windy out here. Make sure I got 
got my strut. Right underneath this little ledge here. Wait for the car to push it back. Is a crab. Feel like a red rock crab, guys. We'll see. Yeah, crab pulling me into the rock. Feels like. Crab, yeah. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Phil! Every time I, I've been catching one eel in the area, it's a crab right in the area again. That's amazing. If eels and crabs stay in the same area, huh? I guess they know if the eel get food, they got food. Let 
Let me hit this spot one more time. Different angle. time for this spot I can't believe I got all them bites and just took robbed me and left oh, that was my warning I should have left y'all <laughs> all right checking some holes current moving a little too fast here but maybe some rockfish down in there Sitting on the ground right there. Oh, that's a nice hole back there. Look at that down in there. That'll be an eel come out of there. Perfect ambush spot. Oh, damn, man, it's deep. Woo. Let's see. Man, it's deep area down there. Look at that hole. Better be something hiding in there. Come on, fish. It's an eel in there. Gotta be. Okay. For the bite. Something's in there biting. A rockfish or an eel? See your stuff all kind of like oh he didn't pull it a lot so that's not a crab which is good when it uh, looks all shredded up and stringy looking that's usually a crab but uh doesn't quite look that way but could still be a crab we'll find out We'll see how this big piece gets bit up. If it gets pulled to strings, it's a crab. If it's just chunks missing, it's a fish. Eel or right. let's see if I can piss him off enough. Let's go. Oh, that is a, a, a something. Something just grabbed it. Oh, that was a rockfish, you guys. I saw him. That was a rockfish. It's brown. So go for a rockfish. He's in there super aggressive too. Wow. Must be a, a nest of his babies or something. Oh, goodness. Oh. Okay. Ah. Damn it. Some good bites though. That rock fish in there is aggressive. All right. Let's try it again. He's in there aggressive. Let's see if I can get him, y'all. Yeah. Biting, but I'm, I can see the brown underneath his, his body, his stomach abdomen but let's see he's waited
off bite again. Uh, I see my shrimp. Come on, rockfish. You can't resist. down in here. Oh, I see him. I think that may be a crab, though. Oh, crab. I knew it. They're pulling me into the rocks, huh? Damn crap. Look. She's down there waiting. It looks like a crab from here. Yeah. Come on. Crabby. Crab, that's how it's going. Crab and a rockfish in one hole right now. It's amazing. All right, let's have a little bit smaller piece this time. Uh. something out of this hole, man. At least. I gotta know what it is.
I'm gonna have to switch holes here, guys. This looks promising. Let me hit this button one more time. Different angle. All right, guys, we're going to end the day here. It was truly a great day of fishing, um, considering the weather. You know, it was cloudy, super windy, nasty conditions, but I left with five eels. A rockfish, I can't complain. Right, you know, fishing is the name of the game, but I got my therapy. I I Stay tuned. There's a few pictures here about, about how I cook it. I deep fried it, made some fried okra, wow. things like that. So enjoy the pics, guys, and um, I'll see you next time.